Welcome to Viking Basketball with Tyler Giving. Portland State men's basketball back home this week playing Weber State on Thursday night, Idaho State on Saturday night, and the Vikings have now won three of their last four games right now in the Big Sky Conference. They're 2-1 and one and tied for third place and coach three wins in the last four. Uh, maybe it's finally coming together. You feel like the team is starting to hit its stride a little? Yeah, you know, a little bit. I, I think the good thing is, you know, I think we all just needed that break at Christmas and we talked about it after the Bakersfield game. And, you know, I think we were just putting so much pressure on ourselves that win, 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 win. So it was kind of good just to go home, get away for three days. But more than anything, I think we've kind of settled into our top eight or nine in the rotations and uh, guys kind of know their roles right now. And, and I think that's kind of what the preseason's for. Sometimes you have to feel that out. And now that I think we've, we've established those things, I think it's uh, it's starting to come together. Now, obviously, we got a, a big time challenge on Thursday night. Okay, at M Montana State last Saturday night, Vikings get a great win, leading uh, practically wire to wire, jumped out to a big lead early and uh, ended up getting the win at Montana State for the first time in, in a handful of years. Uh, and of course, the Bobcats made a run at you in the second half, but you withstood that. It had to be pretty satisfying to have a road performance like that. Well, you know, I was happy with the kids, I, and I think I saw a little bit of it during uh, Sacramento State. That same thing, we kind of got ahead, and they made a little run on us, and you know, everybody in the huddle wasn't panicking, and you know, stick together and do the same, you know, stick with the program and what what's going on. So, and it was kind of the same at Montana State. They made their run, they took the lead, and yeah, there was this kind of a calmness about our guys, which was very encouraging. Um, you know, maybe in the past, early in the season, we kind of folded in those situations. So, so maybe we're growing up. I don't know, Mike, but uh, uh, you know, especially on the road because uh, they they gave us their their best shot and taking the lead, and our kids responded twice. And uh, Bryce White came up with a big three. We hit some free throws down the stretch. So uh, that, that was an encouraging sign. And uh, as the Vikings have uh, kind of gotten on this little run, Coach Geving has made a few moves in the lineup, uh, changing some starters. You moved Isaiah Pinheiro into a starting role. He's played very well in that role. You moved Cameron Forte to a sixth man role, although he's still the leading scorer and rebounder. And that seemed to work out because Cameron had a huge game at Montana State. Yeah, he, he was good for us. And, you know, we, we just – Isaiah's really working hard. He's doing everything uh, the right way, and, and not that Cameron wasn't, but it's nice when you can bring your leading scorer in <laughs> off the bench, and he kind of gets into the game and you know sees it four or five minutes into it, and he's fresh. Maybe the other team's a little bit tired, and to bring a scoring punch in there like that, it kind of reminds me of a couple of years ago when we did that with Deshaun Wiggins and your leading scorers coming off the bench. So uh, Cam, Cam just has a knack for putting the ball in the hoop and. And uh, obviously Isaiah is doing a great job. And so to have two guys at that position that, that are averaging double figures, is, it's a pretty good luxury. Cameron Forte, 26 points, 11 rebounds against Montana State. And another guy, you mentioned him already, Bryce White. Pretty darn good game, hit an important three late, made a couple of free throws late, and his game has come on offensively in the last four or five games as well. Well, it's always been there. I mean, Bryce is a talented kid. and. Um, you know, kind of had some ups and downs last year and then obviously some ups and downs with the injury this year to his ankle. But now that he's been healthy, he's been in the lineup, he's been playing, uh, Bryce is starting to do what we all thought he was capable of doing. So that, that's really, uh, you know, kind of fun for us to watch as a coaching staff and, uh, you know, to have a guy out there that can shoot it and defend and uh, he's got a great offensive skills. He can pass it and do a lot of different things. So uh, it's, it's great the, the production we're getting out of him right now. Okay, now we move on to Weber State. The Vikings playing the Wildcats on Thursday night right here at the Stott Center. Weber State 11-5 on the season, winners of six games in a row, 3-0 in the Big Sky. They have a guy by the name of Joel Ballenboy, leads the Big Sky in rebounding second in the nation. He, along with Jeremy Senglin, pretty good one-two punch. Are you nervous yet after all of those kudos I've given the Wildcats? How, how do you get ready for those guys? Wow, they're uh, they're a load. Yeah, I mean, obviously those, they're – those two guys are, are a handful, you know, Ballin Boy, you know, they're talking about him as an NBA prospect, and he probably is. I imagine he'll get a tryout, if not drafted. So, you know, once again, Weaver State seems to get those pros over there. But, yeah, he's, he's a handful, so that's going to be a team effort. And then, you know, Singlin, same thing. You know, it's not going to be one guy that shuts him down. It's going to have to be multiple guys guarding him, and uh, we're going to have to do a good job of knowing where those two guys are at. And then the – kicker to it all is they got other good players also so 
you know, sometimes you can focus too much on those guys and then some of their other players, so-called role players, step up and uh, get double-figure games. So, they, yeah, I mean, there's a reason they were picked number one by the coaches, and uh, I think they've won about six straight. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be easy, and they're well-coached. Um, so uh, it should be a good test Thursday night. And uh, just to finish the thought on Jeremy Singlin, 51 three-pointers this year, leads the Big Sky in three-point shooting as well. So Weber State, really talented group coming in. And then Saturday night, Idaho State, an improved team as well. Not quite as the upper echelon like Weber State, but as we've learned in the Big Sky, everybody uh, is tough. Uh, how about uh, Idaho State? Well, they, they just give you a tough challenge because they play the matchup zone for 40 minutes. So it's it's... You know, you don't have a lot of time to prepare for it. We're trying to do it a little bit this week, but uh, really you got one day to kind of get ready for that. And it, it's such a tough style to play against that um, if you're not hitting shots or you're not making shots, all of a sudden you find yourself down eight or ten points and then they're grinding you out on the other end and uh, makes for makes for a difficult game. So um, they're much improved, and I, I think they're, you know, uh, near the top half, if you really want to get down to it. They've beaten Portland this year, um, which was a good win, which we didn't do. Um, they beat Cal State Northridge, which we didn't do. So uh, Coach Evans has them playing well. And like I said, anytime you're going against that matchup, you just uh, cross your fingers that you're hitting shots that night. So kind of a contrast in styles between Weber State and Idaho State and what they bring to the table. So uh, maybe doubly tough challenge for you this week. Keys to victory this weekend. Well, you know, I think we've uh, got off to a good start defensively. You know, at Sac State, um, played well defensively. Didn't play particularly well defensively at Montana, but I think that was more of our offensive turnovers that led to their easy baskets. But if we can continue to do that and defend the way that we've kind of been uh, defending early on this year and getting some steals, and then I think on the offensive end, we got to continue to share the basketball. I've been really pleased with that. I think we're leading the league in assists. And, uh, our assist to turnover ratio might be number one in the league. So if we just continue to take care of the ball, defend and rebound, those three simple things that sound easy, but uh, you, you got to be able to uh, execute. And if we do that, I think we'll be in good shape. If not, then um, who knows? Cross your fingers, as, as I said earlier. All right, Vikings at home this week. Thursday night against Weber State, Saturday night against Idaho State. Both games tip off at 7.05. Get your tickets. Go to govikes.com for all the information. Come see the game at the Stott Center. Go down to the Hop Valley Beer Garden. Have a good time and enjoy Viking basketball.